The third DASI test case was established in Norway and raised a debate on the use of drones in search and rescue. Search and rescue employees from Red Cross participated in DASI workshops, testing the web tool and identifying solutions to increase the search capacity. Norway has um, quite a rugged nature, so um, terrain and weather are the main challenges. And we have um, great outdoor areas which uh, are used quite a lot by um, the people living here, and sometimes they do get lost. And then we have to find them, of course. Uh, we have a quite a wide, large country, and there's, there's no use in having a central coordinator being responsible for all of this. Mm, all our volunteers have um, uh, a, a, um, both a basic and an advanced uh, training and instruction regarding their own security and um, their uh, co-volunteers' security. So we found the death method uh, really, really fruitful for our work here uh, because what we found is that the death method in a way enables you to open up a kind of a complex problem and a question in a structural way and it makes you actually being able to handle all this complexity and narrow it down again to a, to a level that a decision maker could actually use. I think it's it's um, it's a it's a good and and theoretical method, but uh, um, best thing is probably that you get a lot of different people together who evaluate uh, things thoroughly. Well, I think uh, the Desi web tool showed us that um, it is really effective when it comes to opening up for um, different perspectives um, and. Um, what we saw from our process was that using the DESI web tool to facilitate a process where you actually have quite a lot of complex uh, information coming in to the discussion makes it so much easier to actually uh, um, structure and also, of course, also to register what all the knowledge being produced in these workshops. Well, um, drones are not used as such in Norway today, but this is of course something that we are looking um, forward to uh, um, using. Uh, I mean, uh, it's still quite a new technology, but I reckon in probably a couple of years' time uh, it will be used uh, uh, in search and rescue. Yeah, there were a lot of uh, organizational issues that has to be solved. I mean, how do you actually um, use the data that a drone, for example, could produce in a search and rescue operation. It's not only about, you know, getting something up in the air to fly. You have to be able to use it in your, in your um, actual search and rescue operation. But it also tapped into a, a larger debate, a national debate, that goes on about what are we going to use civilian drones for and what not, maybe. So in a way, it it, it, it made the ground to understand that this is a technology that is the way um, actually quite um, available now, um, but we really have to have a discussion on how we would use it and how not. Uh, and in this way, I think the DESI uh, procedure uh, pro provided a lot of new information that is important to the debate as uh, the public debate.